If you were a sole trader, so you're just working by yourself, how would your personal goals impact your sort of business strategy? So you don't have a team yet, or you might even not want a team. How does that sort of play out? Well, uh, again, this is coming back to making sure that you you understand the, understanding what the personal goal is, so getting the business owner to say what it is they want in life. What is it they what is what sort of lifestyle do they want, and then working the business goal to meet that lifestyle. Now, let's face it: if you're a business owner, your business should be facilitating the way you want to live. Otherwise, why are you in business? Go and get a job, get a salary. That business should be facilitating what you want out of life. So whatever it is you want out of life, you then use the business, set the goal to make that happen. And it could be as simple as I want to have enough money in the bank to uh, allow my kids to go to university if they want. So that could be the personal goal. So that's like, OK, so what is the level of income? What is the profit level need to be? to be able to put money aside on a routine basis so that by the time they get to that university age, the money is sitting there. Okay, and so let's say you, you choose an amount and then from that amount, that profit margin, you you actually work down to how much you pay or how many jobs that you need. Is um, is, is that how it, it would actually impact? Yeah, do you, so you break that back down? So you, yeah. So you're going to say, right, OK, um, how many if, if that's how much I need to earn, what is my cost of living? What do I need to 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 live on? So we need to understand mm -hmm. what that is. You also need to understand what does it cost me to run the business? So all the, the overheads of running the business, you add the two together and that actually is your proper break even. Your break even is not just your business. If, when you're a business owner, it's also what you need to earn to live. Otherwise, there's no point yeah. in doing it. So we need yeah. the, what you learn to learn to, to live. So that, i.e., what do you need to take out of the business? Maybe that's three grand a month. So if that's three grand a month you need as a salary, then you pull that out as a salary. And you need another three grand to run your business with your insurances, your vehicles, all the other stuff. So six grand is actually what you need to make. Anything above six grand starts to create profit. So then you can work out, okay, what's your average um, client so what are what are what are, what are your what's your average sale? So whatever it is you're you're doing, whether you're installing boilers or you're just doing rewires or or uh, helping um, house renovations or whatever it is you're doing, then you can start looking at what your average sale rate is. You can then say, great, well we need twenty customers a year or twenty customers a month or whatever that figure is. Doesn't matter what the figure is, but you've got to know what it is, and that helps you drive your sales then. But also, it inc you can actually work on increasing your profit, which I'm sure we're going to cover in another podcast, but all about profitability within the business depends mm -hmm. on how you're costing it. So you can then build that in and start looking at, actually, I should be making more money from each job because I haven't got the time to do more jobs, but I need more money. Therefore, I need to make more profit on each job in order to be able to start putting money aside so that over the next 10 years, I've got that net, that money in the bank to support my kids when they go to university. Yeah, it kind of all comes together. And I'd, it would also kind of control which services you offer and actually give you a kind of a, a sense, is this the right service I should be doing? And then you'd be uh, looking at your, you know, your area as well, because you can only drive so far. Like if you're a sole trader, you can only go so far. Um, you need to actually look at your area and find out, um, you know, what kind of customers are there, what kind of service I, I, I can offer, and actually what the prices and stuff that I need to be charging.